fazer acontecer, lutar e conquistar. That's one of the like the modern day Brazilian songs. I like it. Yeah, it's very cool. Got a little poppy touch to uh -huh. it. So U.S. history has been made, by the way, at the Summer Olympic Games in Rio. Okay, so we're talking about Ibtiaj Mohammed, who became the first American Muslim woman to wear hijab, the traditional Muslim head head covering. Now, here's the thing: Muslim women. They generally don't have many options when it comes to sporting wear, but ABC's Ali Rogan talked to one enterprising woman who's trying to change that. Ibtiaj Muhammad dazzles with each thrust and parry, but it's what's behind that mask that put her in the history books as soon as she walked in Rio's opening ceremony. As a practicing Muslim, fencing was a perfect fit for the young New Jersey native. ABC's Matt Gutman caught up with her earlier this week. As a Muslim kid, I had to add long sleeves, I had to add uh, pants, and with fencing, it was this unique opportunity uh, for me to be covered as an athlete and to fit in with my teammates. But even though many other female competitors wear the hijab, it's not yet allowed in all sports. The International Basketball Association, FIBA, doesn't allow head coverings like hijabs. It temporarily relaxed the ban two years ago and could announce a full reversal later this month, but not in time for Rio. I'm currently not playing because FIBA does not allow Muslim women that wear the hijab to play basketball. Athletes like Bosnian-American Indira Kalyo are pushing for FIBA to lift the ban entirely. She started an online petition that has more than 90,000 signatures. The struggle is still real. I still cannot play. The struggle was also real for New Yorker Arshia Karani because she couldn't find a head covering that stayed in place and kept her comfortable while she ran. I've worn hijab for a number of years and I was always just very frustrated because as you can imagine, big brands um, didn't carry active wear hijabs. So she launched Sukoon, which means relief or calm, meant to fuse spiritualism and athleticism for the female Muslim athlete. I was really just trying to solve a problem for myself. Um, and then when I reached out to family and friends to gauge if this was a problem that other women faced, I realized that there's a huge market for it. And it looks very nice. ABC's Ali Rogan joining us now. And Ali, you've got some examples of the hijab. Yeah, that's right. Um, these actually are not Arshia's designs. These are portraits yeah. from a British department store. That's mm -hmm. where I was able to find them. But you uh, can't get them. You can't go to the Walmart and find one. No, exactly. They're not yeah. available at your typical big box stores, which mm -hmm. is exactly what Arshia is trying to to change. So these are made of spandex and nylon. So they're kind of, if you feel it, it's kind yeah. of a, a swimwear material. So it's meant to be flexible so that if flexible. you're running or yeah. doing other activities it's sort of moving with you exactly okay. yeah oh. very interesting very interesting and indeed. lots of colors too yeah be stylish too yeah trailblazing woman there